it's Vanessa from Kindhearted Studio. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, as I mentioned in our live video, um, we are collaborating with the Stratford, Stratford Active Adult Association. That mouthful gets me every time. But I'm so happy to be here and to share this video with you. We figured that this was the best way to go as our other videos were a little bit grainy um, as they were live. So we video recorded it so that you could get the best quality and therefore see the best quality of the image. So today's painting is Cardinals. So I'm going to walk you through step by step. Um, at any point, if you want to change or add anything, please feel free to do so. If you want to do something entirely different to your background, please do switch up the colors, use what you've got, um, paint on already existing canvas, grab something that's hiding in your closet that you're not using and paint over top of it, grab some cardboard, paint on that, draw along, whatever you can do. Um, so I always like to pick paint my background first. I think that is always the easiest instead of drawing in the branch and trying to paint all around it. And so that's what we're going to do first is we are going to paint it step by step and I'll do the background. Um, my number one rule with any of these kind of creative exercises and events is no negativity because I think negativity kills creativity. Um, they're kind of like roller coaster rides. And so I, when I get painting halfway through, I might think, oh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I like this. Um, and I still think that, and I've been painting for years. And it's really important to just keep on that roller coaster, follow the ups, follow, follow the downs, because you might change one brush stroke and that could change everything. So it's really important to go through the process and in the end, it'll all come together, okay? Um, and old canvases. Um, you'll see that I've already started to paint this, but an old canvas kicking around that you don't particularly like or you're not using. And I just go downstairs into my basement and I find some primer, um, some base, uh, baseboard white paint, anything to kind of just repaint that surface. So I'm going to take a bigger brush and just cover my whole surface and I'm going to cover that all white and I'm gonna allow it to dry and then I'll come back and paint this surface. So I have this painted and it is still a little bit wet and that's okay because the colors that we're going to use for our background are this kind of washed out white blue sky. Uh, you'll see some different shades in it as well. So it's really up to you what you want to do with your background. You could just do a, a light blue sky. You can have light going darker or darker going light. I'll kind of show you how to do that. So on our plate, set that back up here. I have, I'll need a little bit of yellow as well, which I'll add in a second. Um, but I'll show you kind of the different types of blue. Here we have a light, light white, light, light blue. Uh, and then it gets into this kind of smoky gray blue. So how we do that is if I take my little tiny brush and dip it into my blue and take a little bit of white and mix that up, I'm gonna get just this soft baby blue. And then if I take a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black and mix it in to the other side pile, I'll show you the difference in terms of color and what that looks like. And you guys can decide what kind of light blue that you want to do. So if I just put a little bit on my canvas here. So I'll just make a little mark there so you can see. So there is just a light blue. You're just taking blue and mixing it with white. But you'll see the difference if I add just a little bit of black to it. Can you see the difference of that? So it just makes it a little bit more of a gray blue. And if you add a little bit more black, you'll get that kind of color. So light blue 
and then a little tiny bit of black and even more black so it's a gray blue. So you decide what kind of blue you want and we'll go from there. So I'm just going to work with a few different shades. As you can see, this is really messy brushwork. And so really all we're doing is you're going to take your big brush. If you have a big brush, I like one like this, kind of the same size as my finger. Um, and I'm going to start towards the top. And I'm taking just a really, really, really light blue. And I'm brushing up and down kind of on a diagonal. And it's just really messy. I'm using the white that is currently on my canvas. So you guys will have a hard time seeing it. I'm gonna actually make it darker so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Otherwise, I'm gonna be giving you instructions and it's not gonna make sense. So, if you want to paint it this dark blue, go for it. The one thing, just be careful that it's kind of a lighter blue instead of a dark blue, because otherwise you'll have a hard time putting your birds on top. So you don't want it too, too dark. Um, but I'm going to go about this shade so that you can see it and see what I'm doing. So you'll see that I'm just doing nice, big, long brush strokes back and forth. I want it to be a little bit lighter at the top. So I'm putting my color in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white and I'm not going to rinse my brush. I'm just going to blend in with what's there. So you'll see here. And I'm not brushing over and over and over again. I like the variation of color in it. So what I mean is I'm just taking some white and I'm brushing and I'm leaving it like that to see the variation in brush stroke. It's up to you if you want it flat so it blends all together, go for it. But you'll find your style. So we all have our own unique style. I'll paint this one again and it still won't be exactly the same as that one behind me. Okay, they'll be the same, but slightly different. All right, so I have my top slightly lighter, it's hard to see then my center. Let's make that a little bit darker if you want. Okay. And then what I've done is I've mixed up a little bit more blue and a little bit more black into the color that I had. And so you'll see that I haven't even mixed it up that much or that well. And I do that because I like the streaks of color and I like the unevenness and the messiness of that background. So you'll see these colors are a little bit different, but you'll see the variation of color all the way through, right? It's not a solid one color background. So my brush, another tip for you, is if you're mixing and mixing and you end up with all the paint in your brush, all you're going to do is you're going to pull it across the lip of your cup, sorry, the lip of your plate, or you can hold it on your plate and on an angle and twist your bristles and that's going to get some of that excess paint out. So with my darker color, I'm coming back and I'm brushing in. So I'm meeting right up where I've came up to. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this one's harder because it's so long, so it's hard to get the whole painting in, but bear with me. I'm going to flip it around just so it's easier to hold and get at. So you're just going to fill in that entire space. So at any point you can pause this video. If I'm moving too quickly, just pause and come back to it, okay? I'm going to move on to the next step because I don't want this to dry. You'll see that it's really cut off and like these harsh, sharp lines. And I want it to be a little bit more blended. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush. I'm not gonna load any more paint. I'm gonna actually see if there's any paint left and I'm just gonna brush it on the canvas. And then I'm gonna just lightly brush where it's wet and where those colors meet and lightly kind of this quick flicking movement of my brush. And that's going to blend those colors a little bit more. The other thing you can do is you can take a little tiny bit of water. So dip your brush in a cup of water and just with a little bit of your water, you can brush back and forth. And that's gonna help blend those colors. So right here, if I look at that line, I'm gonna flip it just so I can hold it. So we'll see the sharp line here. Actually, I'm gonna flip it back over because otherwise it's not gonna make sense. And just lightly brushing right over top of that line. And you can kind of switch your brush strokes every which way. Okay, so you'll see that that is a little bit more soft. There's no harsh lines there. It kind of all blends together, okay? If you want any areas lighter or darker, you can just go back in. So if you want any lighter, just take a little bit more white and brush right into it. If you want it darker, you're just gonna do the opposite. Okay. So I'm gonna make it just a little tiny bit lighter over in this side here, the top corner here. Okay. All right, so then the next step that we're going to do is we're actually going to use red. So you might want to wait a few minutes for it to dry in between. Um, you'll be able to see kind of if you have it rippled or the light is catching it, you can see kind of these globs of paint. You're going to want to wait, but make sure you spread that all out. Um, and then we're going to actually use red to map out our branch. Um, or we could use blue. We could use blue because then it'll kind of blend in with your background a little bit more. Um, in case you make a mistake, it'll be a whole lot easier to erase that than the black and it'll just tie in. Um, yeah, so let's do that. So I'm going to take my tiny little brush and just mm, a little bit of blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just, just below center, okay? So I'm going to come to the side just below center, and I'm going to come up on a bit of an angle, and down a bit, and up a bit, and across, okay? Just a very, very simple line. 
So if I come to my side here and I'm coming, I'm finding half and going just below that. And then you don't want to go all the way halfway across. You want to just come about a third and you can make it a little bit wonky. So I hope you guys can see this from home, from your screen. So you're just going to come up and down a little bit and up and down. Okay, so let's say that I thought, oh, I went too far down there and I really want my branch to look like that. Okay, all you're going to do is rinse out a brush. So take it to the bottom of the cup till you hear it thumping. Sorry, my table's shaking as I do that. And just with a clean brush and a little bit of water, you're just going to kind of go back and forth right underneath that line. Okay, the best part about this is if your painting's still wet, it's just gonna smudge and blend. Okay, so let's say that is my tree branch, okay? Why we're doing it in blue is because it's a lot easier and if we end up, if we end up catching, if, if we did it in black, and then drew our birds and got some black in there. It's just, it mixes funny. I'm gonna rinse out my brush, my tiny little brush, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of red. So you'll see right behind me, this bird here we're gonna do first, and we're gonna do a nice big oval for his body. And then we'll do a circle and build up his head. And then we'll do this one here. So you're gonna find the spot on your branch where you want that bird to sit. And it's gonna be a little bit of an oval kind of leaning this way because the, the bird's leaning into the other one. So it's not, and you'll see that my red is mixing in. So I'm just gonna sh place them where they go and then I'll come back, I'll wait for that to dry and we'll come back and add some detail. So there's the body. Okay, we're gonna add a whole lot of shape to build it up. And then I'm gonna add a smaller circle for the head. Okay, these are just preliminary steps to help us build up our birds. And then the other bird is going to have a head just below that. So it's roughly the same size, maybe a little tiny bit smaller. And then this body is more going to be straight on. So it's just going to be a straight up and down oval. Okay. You can even make that a little bit bigger if you want to. All right. So that is just really rough where our birds are going to sit. So at this point, I'm going to let the background dry and I'm because the red's not going to paint very nicely. So I can come back and paint my branches black. So I'm gonna rinse out my tiny little brush, dab it on your napkin, and I'm gonna take the black. So at this point, I can come back and go over top. But I think what we'll do first is we'll map out where some of the branches go and then come back with a thicker brush and build it up. So if this is my branch here and my birds are sitting there, what I'm going to do is right behind this bird, I'm going to have a branch that comes down running almost parallel with this one. It's going to break off, come down a little bit, and run parallel. I'm not too concerned with what those um, branches look like at this moment. I'm just laying in where those branches go. And then at the same point, we're going to come down. Okay, you're not coming all the way down. You're leaving some space. 
And then from here, we're going to add another branch that's going to come down and through here. Okay? So, it's going to come down and through. And from here, I'm going to add another one that splits off this way. So it's going to kind of come straight out. And we'll have another one made that way. And on this branch here, we're going to have some little smaller branches coming off. branch off there. Okay, so you'll see there's nothing really great about this tree. In fact, it might even look a little wonky, but that's okay because we're going to build it up and it's all going to come together. So the thing about branches that we want to remember is that it's always at thickest where the branch meets the other main branch. So your branch should be thick here and get thinner the farther down it goes. So you shouldn't have a big thick tip and really tiny here because that's going to throw off the look of your painting. So you can stay with your tiny little brush. I'm going to actually move to a medium sized brush. And we'll see if I can get a little bit closer here. So I'm going to build up this main branch, this main line that we did. That should probably be the thickest part of our tree. So I'm going to go right over top of the blue line that I did. I'm going to stop where my birds are sitting, just in case I need to build that up a little bit more. Okay, so I've built that up a little bit. Now I want down here, because that's where it's going to attach to a tree, I want that to be a little bit thicker. Like so. Okay, so you'll see that it's starting to build up. You can start to see that already. I'm gonna switch back to my small little brush. And like I said, please, please, please pause as you need to. Um, if I'm moving too slowly, you can just hit pause, catch up, and then see what the next step is. So the thing about these branches is that we want them to be thicker where they meet. Okay. And so they're getting thinner and thinner. I like to add also a little bit of white, or sorry, water, not white, water to my black um, for these smaller sections so that it's nice and smooth and you get this really nice, nice line. Okay, and this is where you wanna worry about your tip of the branch. Right here, you'll see that difference. So we're going to extend that and you'll see the difference between this and what we have now. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to make this branch thicker. You can add a little bit of a wonkiness to it if you want. And then it's going to get thinner. So what I want to do is just come lightly, lightly pressing on my brush. And there. Okay, same idea. Right here should be the thickest part of that branch. And so if it's too thick, somewhere, then maybe I'm just going to extend it a little bit more and draw that out. Okay. 
I'm gonna also add some small little branches if I want. Okay, building this guy up. All right, so that is pretty much dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, mm, actually, we're gonna mix up a bit of an orange. So if we look at this, you'll see that it's more of an orangey red than a red red, and I'll show you the difference. So if I take my red here, Can you see the difference? So I just prefer the orangey red. So I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna mix up a dark orange. And we're gonna paint that in. So it's okay if it's more orange right now than it is red because we will highlight with the red. So you'll see that my paint still isn't dry and it's mixing with the color underneath. So I'm just gonna, going to give it one coat and I'll let it dry. So still pretty funny looking, right? Easy to go, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but keep going, okay? Downward part of the roller coaster. So I'm going to use red paint and I hope that you guys will be able to see this. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect here and I'm gonna give him a bit of a bigger belly. Okay, now for his head, we're gonna come up like so and down on a bit of an angle and then connect to the back like that. Okay, so you'll see that shape. And for the other guy over here, is same idea. You're gonna come. Do you remember those Russian dolls, how they had no necks? This is kind of the exact same shape. So we're gonna come down the side of his face here, back for that. Connect. Okay, and you can fill those in. Still not dry yet, so I gotta wait some more time to do that. So you'll see that I'm using red as opposed to orange. And we're gonna actually highlight with some red so you'll see how it all come together. The tail feathers come right behind that branch. So I might even have them peek out a little bit behind there.
And then, because this bird's kind of more facing that way, the tail feathers are going to come from the back of the body. Just more so like this. Okay, now we don't want it to just end like that. So we want these quick little flicks down. Okay. All right, guys. So we've given it some time to dry and we're gonna come back and do another coat of paint on it. Okay, because you'll see that it's quite streaky. So we're just gonna brush over top again. I'm still sticking with that orangey color because when I start to highlight, it'll be a lot easier to do that with the red. There's one very chubby bird. All right, so there are our birds. So what we're going to do is we are going to build them up by creating some shadow. Is I'm going to take just a little, little, little tiny bit of blue and I'm gonna mix up that blue with my red to give me kind of this dark reddish purple, okay? And I'm going to start towards the bottom here, and I'm just going to come up the side. So I'm lightly brushing so that I'm blending and I'm still doing it while it's wet. Because that's the time that you want to do it so that you can blend all the colors together. So just the back side of his body, the back side of his head. And this guy is just going to have more darkness around the bottom of his belly. Okay. This is gonna to change too once we give them an outline. All right. So for this bird, I'm just gonna add a little bit more red. All right. So, so far, we're gonna take our bold, tiny little brush black paint okay and we're gonna start to outline so I want to give him a beak before we go any further so I'm going to come to the side of his face and give him a beak so it's the center and more on an angle is I'm going to take just a little 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 tiny bit of blue and I'm gonna mix up that blue with my red to give me kind of this dark reddish purple. Okay, and I'm gonna start towards the bottom here and I'm just gonna come up 
this side. So I'm lightly brushing so that I'm blending and I'm still doing it while it's wet because that's the time that you want to do it so that you can blend all the colors together. So just the back side of his body, the back side of his head. And this guy is just going to have more darkness around the bottom of his belly. Okay. This is going to change too once we give them an outline. All right. So for this bird, I'm just going to add a little bit more red. All right. So, so far, that is what it looks like. Okay. We're going to Take our bold, tiny little brush, black paint, okay, and we're going to start to outline. So I want to give him a beak before we go any further. So I'm going to come to the side of his face and give him a beak. So it's the center and more on an angle. And this bird is also going to have a beak, so it depends. Do you want them kissing or just talking closely? And you're going to put that there, okay? And so we're going to let that dry. And we're going to add the frame around his face. We're going to come straight across and down right at the corner of his beak we'll come back and add this circle right here for his eye and then we're going to add just a little bit right underneath his beak okay same thing over here Cross and down underneath. We're gonna do two circles like so, and then we're gonna start to give them an outline. So this is a really loose outline okay now we're just gonna do the outside Now I'm going to add some more kind of loose curvy lines. So you want some of them being shorter, some being a little bit longer. And then we're going to add a wing right here. So we're going to do a curved line like so. And then add a few little small lines around it. Okay. 
and then for this other one. I want you guys to be able to see me outlining. And I might even make his face a little bit bigger. So I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. We're going to give him a wing right on the side here. few curved lines around his body, inside his wing, and now I'm going to come right back and fix up my branch. And I'm going to mix up a light orange. So I'm going to add a little bit of white to the orange that I mix up. And I'm going to just fill in. Their beaks. So if you have a hard time with the red showing through, you can actually you can paint it white first, let that dry, and then come back in and add your orange. Okay. You're going to flip the end of your tiny brush around, take it, dip it in white, and then we're just going to create these little eyeballs. So you don't have to do that. That might look, you might think that's cute. You might think that's creepy. You can dim it out. I think it's, I probably wouldn't put eyeballs, but that's just me. And now we're gonna add just a little branch here. And another one there. So I hate to say it, but this picture has snow. So I'm going to take white and I'm just going to a little tiny brush. A very loose line. Being careful if you just did the black because that's still going to be wet. Just a loose white line in some of the areas You can take your brush, the big one, flip it around. Same idea, dip it in white. You can just add some dots of snow. Should be more of a spring painting, I think. And a sunny background. All right? And then we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna dip this in red. And I'm going to add these little berries on the tree. So you can add as many as you like. You can switch it up. And with a small little brush, you can add a few more.
So then the only thing left is just to fix up his beak. Oh, smudge. And there we have it. Your very own masterpiece. So you can take your name, take a small brush, and you can sign it. Maybe not that thick, but you get the point. So there we have it, your very own masterpiece. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, stay tuned for next week as we have some more projects for you. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment box and I'll see them. So if there's anything you're looking to learn, uh, let me know. You can also check out my um, website, kindheartedstudio.ca, for some more videos, um, kids programs, and art therapy and meditation. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.